welcome to Fox and Media Digital. My name's Amy and today I'm joined by Alexander Stumpfeger, who is Chief Sales Officer at CIG. So welcome, Alex. It's great to have you on the channel. Hi, Amy. Thanks for having me. Yeah, you've partnered with us before and we wanted to put a spotlight on you as you'll be joining us once again at the Summit for Asset Management ESG New York coming up in a couple of weeks. Um, so could you just remind us who you are and who CIG is? Right, just quickly. So um, CID is a <clears throat> sort of AI company headquartered out of Germany with locations across Europe and, and the US. And we, we really focus on how to leverage qualitative data, and I'll elaborate on that later, for investment strategy, investment decision-making purposes. And I've personally, and with CID, we've spent um, the last sort of five years specifically on supporting asset and wealth managers leverage more data, make better investment decisions, and also scale up customization of investment products for not just ultra high net worth individuals, but also institutional clients, but also um, yeah, going to the mass affluent sector. Thank you. And of course, a lot of your um, data solutions are relevant to the ESG investing space. And that's what we're going to talk about today. So what are some of the challenges that we're seeing in this industry right now? So, I mean, on the one hand, it, and this is not just about ESG, this, this applies in general. Um, it's no longer that easy to earn money in the financial market. Um, so you need to even more wisely choose your um, investments. And this especially applies to ESG as well. And there is a lot of um, tightening scrutiny by regulatory authorities to find greenwashing, for instance. We've seen a number of fines so far, which was quite a new thing last year, but it's become more, more and more often a thing today. Um, again, because of greenwashing or even uh, fund managers, um, because they, they didn't check their investments along ESG criteria thoroughly enough, were fined even though their funds weren't explicitly declared ESG compliant funds. So there's a lot of pressure coming up um, that those ESG focused funds at least um, don't tell wrong or fuzzy stories in the eyes of an investor. And last but not least, I mean, the fact that um, several U.S. states have already banned their public pension funds from collaborating with ESG-minded asset managers also is simply a sign of um, there needs more to be done um, to, to come up with good, sustainable investment products and to also increase transparency and to be able to better explain why and how such an investment product is the right choice if you want to, to look at it from an ESG point of view. Yeah, so how can asset managers resolve some of those challenges and achieve those outcomes that you just highlighted? Yeah, so <clears throat> we believe there's really a, a great potential in, in leveraging what we call qualitative data more efficiently. So typically, the industry is used to, to work with fundamental data and quantitative market data. And then there are research analysts spending significant amount of time on doing their research on the web in, in sell-side broker research, filings, transcripts of events, etc. So there's a lot of information out there and it provides a quite high quality of insights typically, but it's very difficult to capture and very time consuming to process. And that literally screams for artificial intelligence to support this process, to automate capturing, to automate the, um, yeah, to distill insights from this data. And we call that thematic intelligence because it's a specific type of AI that, that really focuses on, on, yeah, extracting insights from this type of data. So of course, those are the thematic insights that are very specific to ESG and other sectors. But when we think about the wider financial environment this year, of course, there are volatile markets, margin pressures, things like that. So how can AI help with those aspects as well? Yeah, I mean, eventually it's all about efficiency and time savings on the one hand. So 
AI can really help to, to automate a lot of the heavy lifting of information, information processing to more efficiently and, and more quickly provide a portfolio manager or research analyst, chief investment officer, or even a sort of sell side uh, trader or, or research individual with the information they need to, to come to a good investment basket along their, their um, strategies and asset allocation strategies as well. And on the other hand, it, it allows to, to scale up product offerings. So to, to differentiate in the market has become even more important because it's one thing to just track another index. It's, it's a different thing to say, okay, we really invest in like battery recycling technology or water treatment technology. And there, there are so many themes that um, cater to ESG interests as well. So there's a lot, work, a lot of work to do and applying AI to, to do this efficiently uh, also allows me to do more of that with the same or maybe even less effort. So yeah, that, that helps to, to drive down margin pressure and to, to even sell more and attract more assets under management. No, it absolutely makes sense. So with all that said, what are your um, hopes for the next 12 months? What are you focusing on? So I hope that um, the the market will will um, sort of um, appreciate those views and and really embrace artificial intelligence as a way to to resolve those issues. There's a lot of appetite. There's a lot of interest. There's a lot of potential, and I really hope it's gonna be used because ultimately, um, the regulators have just started to, to increase their pressure. They will come up with new frameworks, new definitions of what responsible investing or sustainable investing even means. So asset managers need to prepare for this and at the same time improve their product offering and value proposition significantly. And um, yeah, from an IT point of view, we have answers to that. And this is surely something that will um, lead some of the discussions over the next 12 months. Yeah, absolutely. It's a constantly evolving environment, as you say, and AI can ease that pressure put on a lot of investment managers. So we'll just have to watch this space. And of course, you'll be um, exhibiting at the Summit for Asset Management ESG New York on the 19th of April. So we look forward to seeing you there. And of course, people can meet the team in person. So thanks so much for joining us for this quick spotlight on yourself. And we're looking forward to seeing you at the event. Thank you. Likewise. See you soon. And thanks everyone for watching. Don't forget to follow our YouTube channel for more content on challenges and opportunities in asset management, wealth management and ESG. And don't forget to give this interview a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button.